Our next stop, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. You know, this country's been built by a nation of doers, building the American dream with their own hands. But there's a labor shortage right now in America, and the building industry has found a way to fill that labor shortage by teaching the trade skills to our nation's finest, the American vet. Let's take a look. These days, Timothy McCoy has a real passion to learn all about construction. He's been a combat engineer in the U.S. Army for three years, but now that he's transitioning to a civilian life, he wants to pursue his real dream, to be a carpenter and electrician. The Army overall gets you prepared for anything that you actually want to do in this life. I joined the military for foundation. Um, basically, I wanted to learn something that I never learned before. I wasn't uh, a child that got exposed to a lot of things when I was younger, so I wanted to learn and to figure out something that I could use when I get out. Paul Johns was also enlisted in the U.S. Army and transitioned to the Army Reserves. But today, he's a project manager with a construction company, thanks to his decision to learn the skills and training needed for carpentry construction. It's definitely kind of surreal because when you're transitioning out of the Army, you're unsure of what the future holds. You know, the Army has a lot of great benefits. You know you're going to get paid, you have health care, and leaving that can be stressful and uh, daunting. So it was great having this program, which gave me hard skills to get the job that I have and uh, be financially secure. As they transition from a military to a civilian career, Paul Johns and Timothy McCoy both found the answer to their dream of pursuing a career in construction by signing up for a free workshop program that's been introduced at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. It's a skilled trades training program that began through a partnership between the Home Depot Foundation and the nonprofit Home Builders Institute that promises to help solve America's skilled labor shortage. We're servicing a number of issues here. We're servicing soldiers transitioning out of the military and providing them a skill so that when they get out of the military, they are able to go out and find a job. We're filling an industry gap with over 200,000 empty jobs in the construction industry. And then we're serving the community through economic development by creating jobs and production of homes. They go from having their day set every single day. They've gone from serving their country from having that mission into the unknown. And we want to make sure that we are preparing them for that unknown and making it a good transition for them. And like I said, giving them an opportunity for a career, not just a job. It's teaching these vets all the skills they need to be a professional carpenter, a professional electrician, whatever they want in their civilian career. But it's a sizable investment. In fact, Home Depot Foundation has pledged $50 million to teach 20,000 students over the next 10 years. We really wanted to do is make sure we're training the next generation of tradespeople, of our plumbers, our electricians, our general carpenters, making sure that we've got that, that skilled labor for our future. So the Home Builder Institute uh, trains a number of different skill sets. We have nine or ten different skill sets and trades that we train. Here at, at uh, Fort Bragg, we're training electrical and carpentry. Here they're cutting, they're measuring, they're drawing the prints, they're drawing it to scale, and they're building scale models over in the carpentry section to where they build a house just like it would be on a job site in scale and so so they're learning from the foundation all the way up there's over 200,000 empty construction jobs and so this this is a part of the fix this is part of a quick fix because in 12 weeks these soldiers can go out and work on the site that's that's a short-term solution we're we're also in the correctional system we're in the juvenile justice system um, we're in Job Corps. We train at Job Corps centers throughout the country. The longer term fix is to get society to really understand that this is a good career. It's certainly been a win-win for vets Timothy McCoy and Paul Johns, who are now using the construction skills they've acquired to pursue a newfound civilian career as an electrician and project manager. So I figured that that was one of the things that I wanted to get into with electrical work to find out how to actually make stuff work and light neighborhoods and see if I could create my own neighborhood one day. I'm just an average Joe coming out of the Army, getting into the construction industry, and now I'm a project manager. And uh, I owe a lot of it to the skills and knowledge and abilities I gained from uh, the HBI program. What really drew me to the HBI program was being able to learn from the ground up, do siding, do roofing, 
and finish a whole building from the ground up. These veterans in the skilled trades program are building themselves a new life in the construction industry. And that's helping us all build a future for this good earth.